Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua Elder here with another video for you. And today, Nayara, what are we gonna talk about today? I think we're gonna talk about daily success habits. And it's not what you think it is, okay? And I know a lot of you guys that are watching this channel, a lot of you guys are thinking that you need to work eight to 12 hours a day inside of your business to make it to break through, right? We're so accustomed to thinking that since we work a nine to five job, that if we're building our own business, we have to work you know, eight to 12 hours a day and that just isn't true. So I wanna get into the details, give you guys my you know, rituals, my daily rituals that I you know, kinda do for success uh, to you know, help myself get results like this. So you can, obviously you can see here's the latest in my ClickBank account, just did over $1,000 today. Now, this isn't to, to brag to you guys, but it's due to me doing the right activities at the right time throughout the day. And you guys can see I'm in my, kind of my golf attire here. And one of the things that I love to do is golf. You know, I golf pretty much almost every day <laughs> because of the leverage of, of the internet. And, you know, I work, you know, roughly a couple hours a day and then I go do what I love because I'm doing the right income producing activity. So that's really what this video is about. And if you're here for the first time, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe below because right now I'm uploading videos on a daily basis, teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. Also, don't forget to tick the bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. So let me take you through a day in the life of Joshua Elder before he was having thousand dollar days with ClickBank and you know making money online and all that good stuff. You know, I actually worked more on myself, and I still to this day, than I do on my business. And my dog's still over here barking at everybody outside. You know, we've got construction going on around our house because it's a new development, new neighborhood. So I apologize for that. Um, but my rituals are different today than they were before. So let me take you back to 2011, 2012, when I was like grinding, working on my business. And I was working a nine to five job, retail jewelry, you know, eight to 12 hour days, even longer, you know, during the holiday season. And what I would do is I would go to work and I'd work all day. And between the hours, you know, before I went to work and during work, I would find time to reprogram my mind, reprogram my brain for success because I realized that your income is going to be directly proportional with the five people that you hang out with, the five people that you're closest with. And, and if those people are your coworkers that are making you know, $50,000, $60,000 a year, $30,000 a year, like that's great and everything, but if you wanna make $100,000, $200,000, if you wanna quit your job and work for yourself, you gotta get around people that have what you want and that are living the lifestyle that you want. So that's the first lesson that I learned is get around the right people. And so the way that you can do that is through direct mentors and indirect mentors. Direct mentors being people that you meet at seminars, people that are your, your direct coaches that you can talk on the phone with and that you can meet in person, right? And so you wanna have those people you know, sort of in your corner. And then you also want to have indirect mentors through books, right? And audiobooks and YouTube videos. And so what I would do is I would spend my time before and during my lunch break and even after work listening to personal development, reprogramming my brain for success because we have so many limiting beliefs that hold us, that keep us back from success. For example, you know, my girlfriend talks about I've been trying to get her to do a YouTube channel to do hair tutorials and she'd be absolutely amazing at it. But she's like, ah, oh, there's so many other women doing hair tutorials on the internet. And I told her, yes, but the only competition that you have is a competition that you create. 99% of people don't take action. The 1% of people that are taking action are the people that you see on YouTube. So you've got to think about that. You know, I hear that often with students that I coach is, man, there's just too much competition. You've just got to be better than the next guy. If you want to make 10 grand a month, just be better than the guy that's making 10 grand a month. Work a little bit harder, put in a little bit more work. Maybe not necessarily work a little bit harder, but work smarter, like what I'm going to explain to you in this video. Okay, so make sure that you have direct mentors, indirect mentors, listen to audiobooks on a daily basis, read books, you know, read things that are gonna build your confidence account, 
listen to things that are going to help you eliminate these limiting beliefs and all these crazy, all this crazy chatter and these crazy thoughts that go on in your head that don't serve you. Because what we wanna do is we wanna go from training mode to action mode. And I, I believe that personal development is a great tool to use to help you to do that. And so that's what I would do on a daily basis. I would work more on myself than I would on my business. Now, I got to a point where I went from learning mode finally to action mode. And when you go from learning mode to action mode and go from being a consumer to a producer, um, then there are some other things that you deal with, right? You wanna make sure you're taking the right action. You wanna make sure that you're developing the right habits. You know, cause a lot of times we might take action we might get to a place where like we have the confidence to do YouTube videos and to do, you know, send out emails, do Facebook posts and really put ourselves out there. But then we got to make sure that we are, you know, going in the right direction. We're doing the right things that are going to build our bank account and build our assets and grow our YouTube channel, grow our Facebook following, right? Grow our email list. And so the way that we can do this is number one, just take massive action, right? It's easier to course correct somebody that's taking action, but taking the wrong actions versus somebody that's paralyzed by inaction, that's, that's a perfectionist. You've gotta realize I'm a perfectionist, number one, and I realized that my perfectionism, I was pretty much setting myself up for failure, trying to perfect every video, every blog post, every email, because I realized that perfectionism is just unrealistic. Right, And I also realized that after failing 50 times, that you know, failing was just a prerequisite to success. It's a, it's a part of the journey. And I talked about this in one of my previous videos. As, as an entrepreneur, once you start experiencing failure, you start to realize, you start to become comfortable with it, right? You become familiar with it and you realize, wow, you know, you know, you might fail 50 times and then finally have that one thing that allows you to succeed and sort of catapults you to $100,000 a year income or more, right? And that's how it happened for me, is I was willing to fail and fail and fail to finally gain clarity on what works and what doesn't work. And the problem is, is when I tell somebody exactly what to do and what works, they still have to taste everything else. They still have to experience everything else. So it doesn't matter what I tell you, you're still gonna go out there and you need to experience everything. You need to taste everything. It's like going to a restaurant and you eat the same food all the time, but you never realize that, wow, their steak could have actually been better than their sea bass, right? And so, you know, although I might tell you to go out there and shoot YouTube videos, you're still gonna be like, well, I heard this, think about Amazon and everything else, go try it, right? Because you need to find out what your strengths and, and what your weaknesses are. And that's a journey. And so when you, when you go through this journey of success, you go through all these obstacles, but then when you finally get to a point where you're doing the right things, success takes weeks and even months. It's those years that you need to build on to find clarity, to move in the right direction, to course correct. Right? There was always a, a photo that I could relate with where it said success at the top and then it had all these lines going in, in different directions and it had a finish line over here. And it just goes to show you that success has many paths. You're gonna travel many paths to get to success. And so don't be afraid to, to, to when you take action to fail as quickly as possible so you can find the activities that work for you. And here's another thing, right? Don't compare yourself to other people. That's, that's, an, that's a surefire way to fail. Compare yourself to what you did yesterday, right? If you shot one video yesterday, shoot another video today. If you got five leads in your business yesterday, get 10 leads today. If you did something uncomfortable in your business yesterday that's gonna make you better, do something more uncomfortable today that's going to improve you, right? It, maybe take a public speaking class, you know, do Toastmasters, you know, um, travel somewhere that you've never traveled before, you know, get to know culture, like just always be doing things every single day where you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, okay? So these are sort of the, the rituals and the process that I went through to finally get to a point where I broke through and now today I'm able to work a couple hours a day. I'm able to 
go golf, go, you know, to the gym. If I want to go to the gym, you know, for a few hours, I can wake up when I want. I can go travel. As a matter of fact, I might go on a, just a little golf vacation this weekend if, you know, my girlfriend allows me to, right? And that's just the beauty, you know? That's just the beauty. You know, I might go down south and just play, you know, golf and I can, I don't have to worry about work that's undone. I don't have to worry about a boss breathing down my neck. I don't have to worry about just anything and it's beautiful and I created this reality and I paid the price for it. So my question is, are you willing to pay the price for success? Are you willing to stick around long enough to have your breakthrough? Because that's just, that's part of the game. That's half of the game is sticking around long enough to where you can see those four aces at the back of the deck, right? You may be on card 48. You may have been losing all night on the tables in Vegas, but then that last hand, you realize those are four aces. The cool thing about this is you're taking somewhat taking some gambles, but every time you're getting better and you're getting better and you're getting better. So if you quit right before you get your breakthrough, which may be tomorrow, it may be in the next five minutes, it may be in the next two weeks or the next two months, you don't know. But all I know is if you stick around, you will succeed. It's only a matter of time. It's better than just going back and doing what you, you were doing before and getting the same result. Why not have a side gig? And even worst case scenario that takes two to five years, it's better than doing what you were doing before, praying and hoping that you're gonna get a raise by a boss that you hate, by a company that may go under tomorrow, right? I don't know what situation you're in, but anything can happen. It's all about you not being a victim, taking control of your life and your business and taking massive action. So with that said, this is Josh Elder. If you got some value from this video, on you know sort of what my rituals are you know on a daily basis and just to kind of summarize what I actually do because I know I didn't really cover that in this video is I wake up I still listen to my personal development I might do it while I'm at the gym I might do it while I'm just sitting on the couch you know waking up you know I'm thinking about you know what I want to accomplish for that day I'll have two glasses of water and so after that I really want to get my body in this into state so what I'll do is after I wake up, do some meditation, think about my day, you know, I'll either go to the gym, sometimes I'll go to the gym later, that's what I love about this business, is like, I get all this stuff done, but I can be spontaneous. I don't like redundant schedules. I like to kind of have my rituals in my day, but I do them at different times, right? So I might shoot my videos in the morning, at night, but basically I make sure that I have a glass of water, I do some meditation, think about what I wanna accomplish for the day, I journal to gain clarity, you know, on where I'm at, where I wanna go, regain clarity on my goals, I'll write my goals down, right? And then I will do some reading to educate myself, do some audio, and then I will go to the gym. And sometimes I'll listen to my audio at the gym, and the gym allows me to get it into state. It gives me energy to produce in my business and be present for my clients, right? And then after that, I'll just spend time doing whatever I, it is that I love to do, whether it's golfing, whether it's, you know, shopping, whether it's, you know, you know, just taking some time to relax, sleep, take a nap. And then I will shoot a video and I'll also send out an email to my email list. That's basically all I do every single day. Those are the leverage points in my business. But you'll notice about 80% of it is me working on myself, not actually working on my business. Because if I can be more efficient and get to know myself more and play this game called chess and not checkers and be more strategic about my business, spend more time doing that kind of stuff, when I go to work on my business, I'm gonna get things done faster, I'm gonna be more efficient, I'm gonna help people faster, and it's just I'm gonna be more productive. That's why I only have to work a couple hours a day. So it's about what you do before you work versus what you're doing when you work. Don't waste time on Facebook scrolling hoping things are gonna happen, go and make them happen. So with that said, Josh Elder signing off. If you got value from this video, give me a thumbs up, You know, like this video, comment below. And also, if you wanna learn how to build an online business from complete scratch, be able to create your own schedule, check out my top recommended system below in the description. You know, I always keep these videos raw and real, by the way, this is non-scripted whatsoever. So I'm just giving you guys some straight talk as always. Thank you so much. And you know, comment below, what kind of value did you get from this video? 
you know, did you have some sort of breakthrough? If so, let me know what it is. So Josh Elder signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.